Hi, I'm John Alexandrov with REIC, and here, I'm here today with Julie Eder of Prudential Page Realty, and we, we'll be doing a series of interviews today to get you to know Julie a little bit more, hear about herself, her background, her business, and most importantly, Julie, why you're so successful in the real estate mm -hmm. business. So it's great to be here with you today. Thank you. Glad to be here. Now, Julie, I want to talk a little bit about your background. You've been in real estate for about seven years, but prior mm -hmm. to that, you have a pretty interesting background, I believe, as a teacher and as an athlete. Yeah. I... Um I grew up in Norton, Mass, went to Bishop Bean High School and had a life of sports and community involvement and being involved with teaching and coaching and that's what I originally did when I came out of college. Right. I started teaching middle school in North Attleboro. Wow, that's, a, that's quite an adventure yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. and uh, at the same time I was coaching both uh, soccer and basketball in some uh, surrounding communities and uh, my husband and I, my now husband, we you know, sought out to buy our first house. And at the time, my uncle, who's owned a real estate business for a long time, was my yeah. agent. And uh, he, frankly, I just fell in love with the process. Wow. I, I wanted to just do it. I wanted to be the agent. I wanted to, you know, at that time, too, I was very young, and I wanted to make sure I wasn't making a, a hasty decision going to buy a house. I wanted to understand the process. Right. And in my dedication to understand where all that money was going, uh, I fell in love with it. And at the closing, he encouraged me to get my license, yep. which I said, oh, you know, why not? I'm teaching. And... What a nice supplement, something I could do on weekends, summer, something like that. And uh, the more time that went on, I was doing both. And I, I loved both. I loved teaching. I loved right. working with people. And that's where a lot of you know, my business came from is the relationships I built there. But I did get to the point where I said, you know, I need to make a decision because the hours for both combined, it just right. wasn't manageable. Now, this, is, this is fascinating, though, right? I do find that many people who do extraordinarily well in real estate They've had another career that they were successful mm -hmm. at first before getting into the real estate business full time. So, how do you think the teaching and especially coaching might have had a positive impact on how well you do in the real estate business? Yeah, I, I think it's a pretty natural transition. Right. Um, one of the things I pride myself on is, you know, I'll sit down with buyers and sellers and say, I'm going to overwhelm you with information. <laughs> and I'm able to just educate them on the market and provide the supporting data and the statistics to say, these are the decisions or the course we should go. Okay. So the presentation skills and the just that, educating yeah. and teaching what's going on, <clears throat> excuse me, is just been a natural transition. Well, you know, I've known you for a while now, and your communication <clears throat> skills are extraordinary. And I think part of that has to do also with, with uh, teaching and coaching. You know, and knowledge is power. So when you're educating your clients, obviously they're going to be able to make a better informed decision right. when they're either buying or selling a home. And I think that has a lot to do with why you are so successful. Right. I mean, we do things together. You know, the information's out there and, you know, we're a team. If I'm looking to sell someone's house, we're going to work together for the situation that's best for them. And same thing with buying a house, something that's most comfortable, but they have the information to feel like they've done their homework. 